Ready? Hi, I'm Brendan Benson, and you're watching Maxim.com. I'm David Swanson with Maxim Magazine. I'm here at Professor Tom's Bar in New York, and I'm here to have a drink with Brendan Benson. Cheers. Cheers. Between one Mississippi and La Palco is five years. Five or years. I get asked so much, like, how come you take so long, you know, between records? And I felt people were kind of accusing me of, you know, having a having a hard time <laughs> writing music, you know, which is not the case. And so I, I got started to get this complex. Really? Including the raconteurs, that's, you know, five albums in yeah, that's true. six years. I yeah, mean, that's, that's a better way to look at it. Yeah, <laughs> that's, I mean, that's pretty, pretty productive. I mean, look at Guns N' Roses. Yeah, right, so. exactly. There are a lot of solo artists who maybe write the songs, but go into a studio and they right. write, they sing, and then everyone else does everything else. Yeah. Most of your albums have been yeah. real one-man affairs. I did, I did it all. But this record was done actually differently. It was done with a right. producer. After doing the tours, I couldn't bear the thought of going back into my room, you know, by myself, making, you know, making another record, like all, you know, making all the decisions, producing it, engineering it. Finally, I, I had, I had a band that I could, you know, I could bounce ideas off of, and I just had to play my guitar and sing and, you know, and have. Some, some ideas once in a while, and <laughs> and it must have just been fun to like be with your oh, yeah. buddies. Oh man, it was like the ultimate kind of a, you know sounds sappy, but a dream come true for me. I you know I never really wanted to be solo. I, I, I never was. I never wanted to be a singer songwriter type. That sort of implies one dude on a. Uh, stool with yeah. an acoustic guitar, and if you listen, anyone who's familiar with your yeah. music knows it's more like I don't know, '60s wall of sound. Yeah. There's there's lots of overdubs and stuff that I that you know I think are important to the song, like a ro any rock song or you know. So I'm constantly being sent out to play these acoustic um, sets, you know, or whatever, or like do an in store and play acoustic. And, right. You know, and I'm like, well, it just it just a lot of times it just doesn't translate, you know. Like I, I find my I'm playing these songs and I'm like. You know, feeling like, well, you, you have to imagine the bass kind of goes like this, and then there's a background part here. Yeah. Where, <laughs> you know, it, yeah. it's silly. Huh? 